move above Girona back on top of the league. You've already heard the uh, two lineups from uh, the guys pitch side. Chavi, Chapi uh, Ferrer uh, now joins me to my left, and Victor Sanchez de Lamo joins me to my right. Uh, Chapi. Yes, there is a big rivalry, but at the moment that. Uh, that the well, we're very close now. We'll go through the uh, situation to try to avoid the spaces for well, now. Cancelo has started on the right hand side of, uh, of alongside him, a man who has been in top form, absolutely. Antonio Rudiger, who's first 10 games without Militao. And the first thing that the two teams have to decide, Pete, is whether they're gonna press or not. Real Madrid. Well, this, is, this is very important point of the game, Sapi, because the team. Tony Cross and Alaba plays it forward, but only as far as Christensen has been robbed by Jude Bellingham. Rodrigo is in the middle at the moment. If he can find him still, Bellingham. And Christensen comes across and uh, makes amends. But Bellingham pressing and winning possession high at the pitch of Real Madrid. Yeah, we've seen Jude Bellingham doing one of a, the, a lot of things that he makes very, very good. Also on defence, he's very strong with his fitness. Having picked up maximum points in the Champions League, here's Jude Bellingham, turns away from... Fermin Lopez is dispossessed to huge of players. Tony Cross move to the back, uh, close to the. It's, it's very unpredictable the style of playing of Real Madrid in attack. Try to avoid Barca combinations in between lines. Well, he's made a good start to life at Barcelona. He wants to make life at Barcelona per a permanent thing. No better way to do that than to. Uh, have to uh, the red card in his career: Lionel Messi, Luis Suarez, Neymar, Jao Felix, Robert Lewandowski. Place that one forward into the Gabby. Bellingham gets there first, but can't prevent the Madrid player. Now joined by Vinicius in the penalty area. He's back with Bellingham. It's Aroca ahead of him. Clips that one to the back post. It's headed back across the face of the goal. Real Madrid does this very well, especially with Vinicius. Also, Rodrigo with the runs at the back. Also, Valverde. And he was penalised. Still, Rodrigo into Bellingham. Try to get it back to Rodrigo. In you go, Martinez. Could attack to an end, but they win it back through Alaba. But they can't keep. Do keep possession. They're not going anywhere with it at the moment, but so that might change now with Vinicius on the ball. Carvajal. Carvajal with a cross. Taken down by Bellingham and Fede Valverde. To Bellingham. Gavi plays the ball back to Mark Andre Ter. How good is his save? And avoid this very good chance for Barca at the counter. Gabby trying to bring the ball out from the back. Bellingham slide pocket at the moment, not the other way around, as I said. But things may change. Uh, Tamani into Jude Bellingham. Bellingham turns nicely away from Gabby. Back to cross. Tries to get away from Gundawan. Does get away from Gundawan. Here's Bellingham. Bellingham to Danny Carvajal. Gives it back to Bellingham. On the back, there was there's been a run of Bellingham the last minute, and the ball was played badly. So uh, it is not using. So for Bas, it's easy to defend by putting players in the middle. There are no spaces to play. Real Madrid is struggling there. We are not watching Vinicius as a winger taking his freedom just to try something different. Because uh, Robert Lewandowski is also now warming up just in front it's of us. Too great to change the direction of the game. Bellingham's done well there to get away from Gabby. We haven't said that too many times so far this afternoon. Here he is again, Bellingham. He's got Gabby in front of him again. Bellingham underneath it, that one. Send it Rodrigo's way. That's a fine pass through the middle. There's a chance here for Duke Bellingham. Bellingham's forced wide. It's a good tackle from Gabby. Well, Gabby has been so close to Bellingham so far in this game, and he was right alongside him there. And that's a, a shot, if not a goal, saving challenge from Gabby. That's Bellingham. a good run, a good yeah. challenge. I think Gabby didn't. I don't know if he touched the ball. I think it's Bellingham who touches the ball. Or things from Real Madrid's side. Not Bellingham. Germany to to Bellingham, and again Gabby. It's interesting to see from Real Madrid's side that. Uh, after the the change the substitution because he's a very offensive player and he can provide to to his team situations like that but i think it surprised more bellingham plays bellingham vinicius and rodrigo ahead of him but gabby well it's Lewandowski on that uh, far side 
And good news for Barcelona, Pete still no news of... Uh, Possible of that, and the name is Gabi. Yeah. Well, for change. Bellingham's pass back to Antonio Rudiger. 0-1, headed away by Gabi, comes out to Bellingham. Bellingham goes for goal! And he hits the back of the net! And of all the goals he scored this season, that surely is the best, and it's in the biggest fixture of the season. Nine goals in La Liga. He only scored eight in the entirety of the season in the Bundesliga for Borussia Dortmund. Bellingham's been quiet, but Bellingham has woken. Bellingham strikes. It's Barcelona 1, Real Madrid 1. Pete, you want one word? Determination. This is what this man that has been very well defended by the, all the minutes there are in the game by, by Gabi. One single situation, he had few meters free, he did this. Unbelievable, the determination he has this player. And he did it against uh, arguably the best, certainly fit goalkeeper in the world at the moment, Mark andre Ter Stegen. So Real Madrid right back in the game. But I think this is because Real Madrid attacking, they've been much better in this second half. So that made Barcelona to drop deeper. I think now Barca will react also because now with the draw, I suppose they will they will try to play more aggressive. To be better in defense, and Oriol Romeo is coming on. Bellingham brought down by Gavi. Well, you were calling for it earlier. Tried to play in Cosello, he did well to play it back to Bellingham. Bellingham tried to look for Vinicius, but it was blocked by Romeo. Rafinha against Camavinga, this is a very good option for Barca in attack. Which makes a run on the over. It's played back instead to Bellingham. Modric has been all right, and I think Real Madrid players read it very well. The one against one, and also great chances to shoot, to cross, danger for the opponents. Bellingham. Here's Camavinga, nudges that one forward to Bellingham. Impossible to call at the moment. If there is going to be a winner in the next uh, six minutes plus added time, Ben Alaba will clear. Forward to Bellingham. Romeo gets there. Moment then receives the ball. He comes inside and then he looks up. But Carvajal into Modric. Rudy Bellingham scores again. Bellingham gets a double on his Clasico debut. Incredible. Ten goals in La Liga for Jude Bellingham. And goal number 10 looks like winning the Classico. And I don't think we saw the typical celebration when he scored the first. We're seeing it now. Xavi can't believe it. His expression says it all. Real Madrid have flipped this game. They went behind so early. They've gone ahead so late. It's Barcelona 1, Real Madrid 2. This action explains perfectly the Real Madrid that I think that is in the mind of Ancelotti. And we have seen during many games. He got the equaliser, he's got the winner, he's going to win man of the match again. Real Madrid take all three points and move back to the top of uh, La Liga. And uh, the atmosphere inside the Olympic Stadium, the first Clasico to be played away from the Camp Nou, it all ends in disappointment.